King Solomon of Israel was known for his wisdom and his wealth, but that wealth came at a steep price. The king imposed high taxes on his subjects and conscripted into service many young people of his territory. Jeroboam, a trusted member of the king's court, thought that the burden was too great and openly opposed the king. Not surprisingly, King Solomon did not take kindly to the opposition, and Jeroboam was forced to flee to Egypt for his own safety. Many people agreed with Jeroboam, and after Solomon died, the northern tribes of Israel rebelled against Solomon's son, King Rehoboam. They declared themselves independent of the southern kingdom of Judah. Jeroboam came out of hiding to join the revolt and was acclaimed ruler of the northern kingdom of Israel. Soon after coming to power, Jeroboam built two shrines in the northern kingdom so that his subjects would not have to go to Jerusalem to worship God. In each shrine he placed a golden calf to represent God's throne, just as the Ark of the Covenant represented God's throne in the Jerusalem temple. The calf was to be a reminder of the presence of God at each shrine. Unfortunately, the people got mixed up and started worshiping the golden calf instead of worshiping God. Years later, when these events were recounted in the first book of Kings, the author was very critical of King Jeroboam for all of this. Of course, the author lived in Jerusalem in the southern kingdom of Judah and was critical of most things that happened in the northern kingdom. But Jeroboam was not all bad. He spoke up for the people of Israel when the burdens imposed by King Solomon were too great. And Jeroboam did try to provide a place for the people to worship God, even though they got confused about the decorations in the shrines.